everybody, my name is Dr. Joseph Hammer and I'm an Associate Professor of Counseling Psychology at the University of Kentucky. In this brief video, I'm going to address the question of the gap year. Uh, taking gap years after your undergraduate bachelor's degree in psychology or a related mental health field is becoming very popular. A number of reasons for it, sometimes you just need a break from school, you want to get out in the world and experience new things, you want to volunteer, do Peace Corps, help with family, make a little extra money, uh, whatever it is, there can be many reasons for uh, taking a gap year. And psychology undergraduates who are about to graduate often wonder what taking a gap year will do to their chances of being able to get into a doctoral program such as in counseling psychology or clinical psychology, a PhD or a PsyD, for example. And though some people are also thinking about doing one of those degrees at the master's level as well. And uh, I think there's a pretty straightforward answer to this question. What I would advise students is that taking a gap year in and of itself is not a good or a bad thing. Rather, it's about what do you do with that gap year that ends up answering this question. So if taking the gap year helps you when you go to apply, have a stronger curriculum vita you know, a stronger application, then that can be good. If you're going to be stronger and have a better chance of getting into a program because you took a little bit more time to volunteer a bit more in a research lab, to do an independent project, to get some therapy-related or helping skills as a part of an internship or a first job at a mental health agency, you know, as long as you're engaged in activities that will help strengthen your CV, then taping, taking a gap year is a fine idea. Uh, likewise, if taking a gap year is going to help you restore your mental health and sense of balance, and you're going to be able to come out of that gap year in a stronger cognitive position, you're going to be uh, more determined, more focused, more refreshed, and ready to put together a compelling application to do uh, good interviews, uh, and to start graduate school off strong, then again, a gap year for those purposes can also be an excellent choice. For those folks where they're going to take a gap year and not really do anything productive, whether restorative or in the traditional sense of productive, like getting more experiences, if your gap year is not going to facilitate one or both of those things, then maybe the gap year is not a good idea. If it's going to be time for you to zone out, disconnect, get rusty, forget your skills, and lower your motivation to go back to school, then that's probably not going to serve you well if you're hoping to get into a counseling psych or clinical psych graduate program. So that's my advice about taking a gap year. It's not about the year itself. It's about what it will help you do. And my sense is from my colleagues, and certainly speaking for myself, that when we see a gap year on, on your CV, that doesn't automatically uh, make you any worse or better in our eyes as an applicant. It, it just really is what impact has it had on your CV and the degree of polish that you're bringing to your applications. So hope that is helpful at addressing that gap year question. And for other resources, check out drjosephhammer.com. I have a plethora of resources related to getting into and thriving in psychology graduate school, as well as a variety of other resources related to counseling, psych, mental health, uh, and those sorts of things. So good luck.